Hey there, welcome back. And uh, before I start, take a second, subscribe if you haven't. I say this all the time now and thumb up the video, leave comments. These are all the things that help the uh, hobby grow and helps other collectors find these things. So that's your responsibility. Mine is just to keep bringing you these amazing toys that quite frankly, this one is another example of something I had no idea existed. In fact, I can zoom in a little closer now that we Got that Atom Jet out of the way. I had to go so far back for that thing to fit into frame. It was unreal. Anyway, this is called Coin Operated Battery Car Number 9 by Canto. The box is uh, plain but elegant. Let's uh, take a look here. Got the young driver there, the young lass, and it's Ichiko also. So you got Canto and Ichiko. Here's the side. Now, unfortunately, maybe uh, one of you astute uh, toy collectors can help me this because I could not get this thing to operate. You'd think it would be simple, right? Just drop a coin in the slot and it should... Well, what it does is it activates the mechanism, which uh, I believe it said it runs for, well, you know, rather than... Let's just, uh, again, see this. Drop a penny in the slot and away you go. The car will travel about 90 feet in circles and will stop automatically. Um, another coin in the slot will start it off again. So that's the the uh, thing, the end flap, our little rip. So, you know, today's pennies are what? Like crappy zinc, right? They're not heavy. They don't have any weight. The slot's pretty big. And unfortunately though, now, now watch with my luck, I'll drop it in and this thing will take off and I'll have to move the camera like, in a scramble, but uh, I don't think, I did try with the pennies. I do have older pennies, um, but, you know, the nickel should work as well. But unfortunately, what happens is if you drop it in, nothing, <laughs> nothing. Now, I could see the, the chute. It's almost like a coin-operated chute. Oh, look at that. There we go. Something activated finally what did i tell you there we go so it finally dropped in that's amazing you know I've, i was going to show you here's the the bank door so the, the nickel should be and there it is right there well, what do you know it worked so <laughs> Strike my last comment. Uh, unfortunately, I did not have it where I can take the camera off and follow it around. It would have just hit too many obstacles. Uh, but at any rate, uh, I'm glad we got this working together as a team. And what it would have done is just go around in a circle until it ran out. I mean, I you know I have coin up obviously arcade machines. So to me, any coin operated toy is also a, a, a huge plus. And uh, let me show you some. This is a highly detailed card, too. You know, lithographed all inside. And has its license plate. My assumption is that 1958 is the year of the car. Well, it looks like a Chevy. I don't know. It doesn't have the fins. Well, 58 is, you know what it is? The 58 is the depiction on the box with the quad headlights. That's definitely 58. But this car itself looks more like 56, 55, 54. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I guess. I guess it could be 55. Anyway, that's your coin-operated battery car number nine by both Ichiko and Kanto. Uh, if you've seen this before, let me know. Because like I said, I've never seen it. I'm assuming it's quite rare. Um, and if I have the space, I'll try to operate this in a way where I can get the, the whole uh, travel of the car on camera in frame. All right, thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you later.